Okay, hi traders, here's a new video. First of all, the risk warning, your invested capital may be at risk. Don't trade with money you cannot afford to lose. And this video is not an investment advice. So let me see, um, this video is another deep explanation video about some candlestick patterns, reversal candlestick pattern, because there are some more, not much, but um, some which are important to name. They have names so you can recognize them, so you can trade them, yes. And this video will be about the tower, the tower top and the tower bottom. But first of all, I want to show you here is a, a trade. At least one, and if there are uh, more opportunities, maybe also more. So let me see. I'm expecting here that the next candle will go up, and that's the reason why I'm doing a call on the next candle. As soon price came down a little bit. Okay, we have to wait here. The purchase time is wrong, and uh, that's now it's not looking anymore that it would go higher because we have here a break. We have here the 200 EMA which was broken and the 100. So I'm pretty much sure that this um, area here will hold. Yes, and that price will not break through this area on the first attempt. That means I wait now till price gets higher. So let's see. And if price goes higher, I get okay, enough. Yes, I'm going to do a put now, because I'm not expecting that price will break through this area, I guess. And uh, the wick here of this previous candle showed me that there are already the sellers waiting, yes, and that this will be a good put, put here, okay? So let's see what will happen. Uh, there are another 30 seconds, um, and uh, it's a lot of time, but the entry point was uh, perfect in my opinion, and so I'm pretty much sure that this will be in the money, and uh, also if there will be a doji or something like this, I can expect that this will stay in the money. So you see it will go and be a doji, yes, and to see the entry point, how important the entry point is, and uh, thanks to the entry point, it was in the money. So, and uh, but because of the trend, it's to, uh, it's looking like we get here still in an uptrend. I will not do a put here. I will do a call because I'm expecting that price is going to try against again those uh, two levels, yes, uh, 200 and the 100, and that's the reason why I'm doing a call now. And after this, I will explain the uh, tower top and the tower bottom. Um, candlestick patterns, yes, let me see uh, what's going on here. Else it will, else the video will be too long because uh, the explanation alone will take a lot of time and that's the reason uh, why I have to start this. You see it's going up now, yes, and it's uh, gone up. So, and let's see what's happening. So, okay. Let me see, yes, uh, okay, that were the trades. Uh, now obviously price tries to range around those two and this is a little bit dangerous here, yes, here I would not try to, to uh, any kind of trade because I don't know if price uh, will now range around it. There should be already a good candlestick pattern which would be a good signal that the uptrend will continue. So okay, let me uh, do now the thing about the um, candlestick pattern. So but first of all, all my trades are based on those things which I have explained in my ebook. Get this ebook, it's for free, you'll find the link in the description. This ebook contains the most important candlestick pattern, chart pattern, binary option, turbo trading concepts, but also concepts which can be applied to any kind of uh, financial instrument and any kind of uh, time frame. So get this ebook, it's for free, you find the link in the description. Also the mindset series which is included in this ebook, it's really worth a watch. Watch the mindset series um, for consistent profits. So uh, let me start with uh, the double, with the tower top and the tower bottom pattern. Yes, first of all I will discuss here uh, like always the uh, bearish reversal pattern, yes, and the bearish reversal pattern is the tower top. So I will copy all those kind of stuff here, so it will be a little bit more faster. Um, so, it will be faster, not more faster. So, let me see, bearish reversal pattern, okay. So I will sort them later, I will sort them all, tower, top, 
Yes, tower top. And the bullish reversal pattern, yes, it's the tower bottom, yes. So, and they look like this. So we have uh, first of all an uptrend like those one here too, and then we have another five candle pattern. Yeah? So there are five candles, and those five candles are mostly. Let me remove them here. Uh, so I remove them. It's uh, not so difficult. We get here this one. We have no gap in this situation. There will be no gap. It's not uh, the gap doesn't it doesn't uh, matter in this case. So let me see if I can show you this. Um, yes, I will remove them completely because I don't need them. Um, and then I will do here uh, the support and resistance area can be again everywhere. I will do them a little bit higher and then moving around down when I have done it. So, okay, we, I will need some more of those one here because the tweaks are important because this kind of um, patterns is looking like this, for example. Yes, you get here. Um, Yes, and there will be uh, some gap, yes, but only small ones which are not noticeable. So we get here a, a spinning top, yes, a spinning top, then we get another candle, which is uh, uh, could be everything, yes, it has to, can be a red one, a, a, a green one, yes, a bullish or bearish candle, it doesn't matter, yes, but I will do this in a, a bearish one. And that are all indecision candles. That means, yes, indecision candles means it has not to be only um, uh, uh, spinning tops, yes, it can be also other candles like uh, dojis, yes, high wave candles, uh, and so on. All indecision candles, which you know, yes, that, that are not uh, a lot, yes, those candlesticks are those ones which appear here in this kind of scenario. And uh, that are those ones which are here, but mostly that are spinning tops, yes, in this formation that it looks like a tower, yes, that's uh, where the name came from, yes, a tower of a, of a castle. Yes, uh, those ones which are on the left or on the right of the castles, yes. And that is where this uh, candlestick pattern has uh, uh, the name from. And uh, if you watch those kind of sites which are talking about it, yes, uh, they tell, uh, they are telling that this candlestick pattern has a, a success rate uh, from about uh, 76, 76%. Yes, uh, here this pattern should have a down success rate that the price will reverse from 76, uh, 67, sorry, 67 percent. And I am telling you, I don't believe this, yes, because I have seen already so much and I don't believe that this candlestick pattern should be have this kind of success rate. But uh, if they are telling this, I'm uh, I'm so or so, I'm not a friend of, um, of uh, percentages, yes, because if you uh, rely on percentages, you are already lost, yes. Uh, so I would say, okay, if they are telling that uh, it will be uh, 70, uh, 6, 67%, okay, maybe it is this, yes. It can be like this, yes. Uh, I will not negate this, but I'm, uh, to be honest, I'm not sure if this could be right because I think candlestick pattern in general do not have more than 60%. That is what I'm, uh, what I'm thinking. So I will put this here somewhere, yes. Uh, the support and resistance area can be everything, yes. Uh, so uh, I will put this here. So this is uh, the most, more um, suitable. Um, position yes so and then you wait here for a rejection or a rejection from the support and resistance area if the last candle here this one you can also trade this candle yes it can be traded also if you see that the price is going to break through this area here yes you can trade this candle too uh, so after a few spinning tops, you can trade on the rejection from this level, yes, and then you trade this kind of candle. But mostly, which uh, the, this one is a, a trend identification candle, yes, which shows you that the trend uh, started, and then here you lose uh, 50% of this huge candle, yes, 50% as rejection area. If price rejects from this area, you can get into a put, and then you have like uh, those one what they are telling, a 70, 
uh, 67% yes, success rate. What I don't believe, to be honest, but uh, they are selling this, maybe uh, it's right, I don't know. I don't believe that uh, any candlestick has more than 60% um, success rate. As, but, uh, obviously, the downtrend after this, this could be 70%. That's the next uh, the trend which will establish after this candlestick pattern. That could be, um, that could be, um, be uh, 70, 67%, yes. That can be, but uh, I'm not believing that uh, the next candle will be a red one for uh, 76, uh, 67%. I'm believing more that you have to watch if you get a nice rejection from the 50% of the pre of this candle here, and then you can enter into a put, and then uh, the ch ch chances that this get in the money uh, will be uh, much higher, yes, because you know binary option is one thing, Forex is something else, and uh, uh, but that uh, that will be the topic when I'm going to explain how to trade those kind of candlestick patterns and how to trade those those things on Forex. So okay, that was this one. Uh, now I'm going to do uh, I'm going fast uh, doing the uh, the another one here the dub, uh, the tower bottom yes, which is a bullish reversal pattern, which is basically the same, and that is why I'm naming them and why I'm showing them because um, I. I show you those one yes which are similar uh, where you get the the one of the the up the reversal the bullish reversal part and the bearish reversal part so you will really have to learn them only once not that I'm doing uh, for every kind of uh, pattern uh, always a, a, a specific video and telling the same thing over and over again yes uh, if I have can if there are candlestick pattern which uh, where is a bullish and a uh, a bearish version of them, yes, I will name them both uh, only because uh, to uh, to get them together in one thing, okay? So, then we have this one, uh, a bearish one, this is also a spinning top, so let me copy the spinning tops here, that is much more faster, I can uh, do this, so I need only one point of them, yes, so I copy them here, copy, and uh, then I put this here, and then the next one, yes, the next one will be this spinning tops here, two green one. Also, dojis can be. It's only important to know spinning tops, high wave candles, all those candlestick patterns. Yes, are indecision candles, and so there is no difference if it is a doji, yes, or a, a spinning top. Obviously, a spinning top with a with a real body, yes, is. Uh, uh, much nicer, yes, can be much nicer uh, than this uh, doji, yes, but uh, at the end it's almost the same and uh, you need here only some kind of uh, uh, indecision candles which are forming this kind of type here, tower, yes, and if you have something like this, you know, uh, this is a tower bottom, yes, and after this you get here this kind of candlestick here, which is going uh, the tower, the other part is inverted tower, yeah? This is a tower here, and this is an inverted tower. So, and uh, you can trade here. It doesn't matter how it where it ends. It can let it so, and then you trade the next candle in direction yes of the uh, previous one. Then, then you have to know there is a reversal. So, let me copy here some things from that part, and then I will finish immediately the video. So here, fifty percent. Yes, the fifty percent of this one. I will write it down there also. So you uh, remember this, the 50%, or you trade it when you see that the candlestick uh, is breaking out of this, yes, of this flat breakout. This is nothing else than a flat breakout here. I would say this, in this case, it would be something like this, yes. If you see that the breakout, you can enter into this trade and trading this candlestick here, yes, uh, the previous one, but uh, I would wait to get the complete candlestick here um, pattern uh, formed. So you, you know, okay, now we have the uptrend and I will show you this uh, also in this part of the ebook where I have explained this, uh, that you create then the continuation of this forming uptrend after the uh, tower bottom. And uh, here you can trade the downtrend, which is formed after the uh, tower top. And uh, this one is this one here, what I have explained for those who don't know this, those things here, let me see. If I can show you this, um, where do we have this? Um, let's see, uh, it's almost so so much here. So uh, 
Okay, I will not find it. Okay, here, that one here. If you have a tower top here at this top of the reversal, yes, uh, then you can trade the downtrend. And if you have a tower bottom here, tower pot bottom at the uh, at the end of the downtrend, yes, you can trade this uptrend here, I'm waiting for continuation patterns or for pullbacks and trading them nicely. Also, this kind of um, tower top and tower bottom can be happening at some kind of deviation or EMA and forming there a pullback. Yes, that are also candlestick patterns which are. Uh, can create some kind of pullback. Yes, that are uh, looking like a pullback. This you see here. You have, for example, then the, um, for example, the 20 EMA and this kind of uh, thing performing there. Then you know the uh, major trend is a downtrend, and you go with the major trend because this will form uh, some kind of pullback. So okay, that is this one. Uh, I think it was clear now about uh, the, the the tower bottom and tower top. Uh, maybe I. The There will be a few more candlestick patterns which I have to ex explain. Uh, so I would say uh, this would be enough for the moment. If you like this video, do a like. If you didn't subscribe, subscribe to my channel. If you have something to say, drop me a line, like always, in my comment section. Uh, or and join the Facebook group, don't miss it. And so I would say stay safe and bye-bye.